How to Become a Freelance Data Scientist, a Step-by-Step -step Guide Data science is a highly in-demand field, and many professionals in this field are choosing to go the freelance route. As a freelance data scientist, you have the freedom to choose the projects you work on, set your own rates, and work from anywhere. In this video, we will discuss the steps to becoming a successful freelance data scientist, including 1. Developing the necessary skills 2. Building a portfolio and networking 3. Finding and bidding on freelance opportunities 4. Setting your rates and building a client base We will also discuss the importance of staying organized, up to date, and having a good work-life balance Also, some popular marketplaces where you can find freelance data science opportunities. 1. Developing the necessary skills To become a freelance data scientist, you need to have a strong set of skills. The most important skills you will need are an understanding of statistics and machine learning, as well as proficiency in programming languages such as Python and R. Additionally, you will need to be familiar with data visualization tools such as Tableau and Excel, as well as databases and SQL. 1.A. Understanding Statistics and Machine Learning Statistics and machine learning are the backbone of data science, and you will need to have a deep understanding of these concepts to be successful as a freelance data scientist. Understanding statistics will allow you to analyze and interpret data, while a deep understanding of machine learning will allow you to build models and make predictions. It's important to take a course or read a book about statistics and machine learning to get a good grasp of these concepts. 1.B. Familiarizing yourself with programming languages and data visualization tools. Python and R are two of the most popular programming languages used in data science, and you will need to be proficient in at least one of them. Additionally, you will need to be familiar with data visualization tools such as Tableau and Excel, as well as databases and SQL. These tools will allow you to manipulate and visualize data, which is an essential part of data science. It's important to take a course or read a book about these tools and programming languages to become proficient in them. Two. Building a portfolio and networking Once you have developed the necessary skills, you need to start building your portfolio and networking with other data scientists and industry professionals. 2.A. Creating a portfolio of projects to showcase your skills A portfolio of projects is a great way to showcase your skills to potential clients. It should include examples of your work, such as data visualization, machine learning models, and data analysis. Creating a portfolio will help you to demonstrate your capabilities to potential clients and make you stand out from other freelancers. 2.B. Networking with other data scientists and industry professionals Networking is a key part of building a successful freelance career. Attend data science meetups, join online groups and forums, and connect with other data scientists and industry professionals on LinkedIn. Building a network of contacts will allow you to learn from others in the industry find new opportunities, and stay informed about the latest developments in the field. 3. Finding and bidding on freelance opportunities Once you have a portfolio and have started networking, you can start finding and bidding on freelance opportunities. 3.A. Searching for job postings and bidding on projects You can find freelance data science opportunities on job boards such as Upwork and Freelancer, as well as on LinkedIn. When bidding on projects, it's important to tailor your proposal to the specific project and highlight your relevant skills and experience. Make sure to showcase your portfolio and highlight your achievements and any certifications you have. 3.B. Pitching your services to potential clients. In addition to bidding on posted projects, you can also reach out to potential clients and pitch your services. This can be done by sending a personalized email or LinkedIn message, or by meeting them in person at networking events. It's important to have a clear and professional pitch that highlights your skills and experience, and explains how you can help the client achieve their goals. 4. Setting your rates and building a client base Once you start getting clients, you will need to set your rates and start building a client base. 4.A. Determining your hourly rate or project fee Your rate will depend on your level of experience, the complexity of the project, and the market rate for similar services. It's important to research the going rate for freelance data scientists and set your rate accordingly. Be realistic about your pricing, don't undervalue yourself and don't overprice yourself either. Your rate should reflect the value you can bring to the client and the level of expertise you have. 4.B. 
marketing yourself build reputation. Once you have a few clients, it's important to market yourself and build a reputation as a reliable freelancer. Ask your clients for testimonials and use them on your website or LinkedIn profile. Additionally, make sure you deliver quality work and finish projects on time. Building trust and a good working relationship with your clients is essential for long-term success as a freelance data scientist. 5. Staying organized. It's also important to be organized and manage your time effectively as a freelance data scientist. This means setting clear deadlines, keeping track of your finances, and staying on top of administrative tasks. One way to stay organized is by using project management tools like Trello or Asana to keep track of tasks and deadlines. Time management tools like Rescue Time or Toggle can also be helpful in keeping track of how you spend your time and identifying areas where you may need to improve. 6. Good Work Life Balance It's important to have a good work life balance as a freelance data scientist. This means setting boundaries and making time for yourself and your loved ones. It's also important to take care of your physical and mental health as this can have a direct impact on your work performance. Finding freelance opportunities on marketplaces. Online marketplaces are a great way for freelancers to find work and for businesses to find skilled professionals. As a freelance data scientist, you can find a variety of job opportunities on these platforms. Here are some popular marketplaces where you can find freelance data science opportunities. Upwork is one of the largest online marketplaces for freelancers. It's a great place to find freelance data science opportunities, as there are a lot of clients looking for data scientists on this platform. The platform allows freelancers to bid on job postings, and clients can then choose the freelancer they want to hire based on their portfolio, experience, and proposal. Freelancer is another popular marketplace for freelancers. It's similar to Upwork in that it allows freelancers to bid on job postings and clients can choose the freelancer they want to hire. The platform has a wide range of job opportunities, including data science jobs, and it's a great place to find work as a freelance data scientist. Fiverr is a marketplace that specializes in offering small, affordable services. It's a great place to find small data science projects or to get your foot in the door with a client. You can offer a variety of services on this platform, including data analysis, data visualization, and machine learning model development. Guru is a platform that caters to professional freelancers. This platform allows you to build a detailed profile and showcase your expertise. They have a wide range of job opportunities, including data science jobs, and it's a great place to find work as a freelance data scientist. Toptal is a marketplace that specializes in connecting businesses with top-tier freelancers. The platform is highly selective and only the top 3% of applicants are accepted. If you are accepted, you have access to high-paying jobs and clients who are willing to pay a premium for your services. Take the first step on your journey to becoming a freelance data scientist. Becoming a freelance data scientist is a challenging but rewarding career path. It requires a combination of technical skills, networking and business acumen, and a willingness to take risks. However, with the right approach and mindset, you can achieve success as a freelance data scientist. In this video, we've discussed the steps to becoming a successful freelance data scientist, including developing the necessary skills, building a portfolio and networking, finding and bidding on freelance opportunities, setting your rates and building a client base. We've also discussed the importance of staying organized, up to date, and having a good work-life balance. We encourage you to take the first step on your journey to becoming a freelance data scientist. Remember that becoming a freelancer is not an overnight process, it takes time and effort, but with dedication and persistence, you can achieve your goal. Don't be afraid to start small, take on small projects and work your way up. The key is to start somewhere. Sign up to different freelancing platforms, create a professional portfolio, and start networking. The opportunities are out there, and you have the skills and expertise to take advantage of them. As a data scientist, you have the power to make a real impact on the world. Don't wait any longer, start your journey to becoming a freelance data scientist today and be your own boss.